Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. This is the pain from Pune. So I have my Nikko helmet with me. It's the Nikko Hooter series which I purchased at uh, I think IBW in 2019, which was held at uh, Lunavala. And I've been using this very regularly because this is uh, quite a lighter helmet than my previous one, which was MT Thunder 3. And on the MT Thunder 3, you know, I had uh, of course received uh, neck, got neck pains and all because uh, there was a heavy mount in front with all the GoPro mic adapters and the GoPro attachments and all. Plus the helmet was heavy and plus I had the Senna. Now on this Nikko, the helmet itself is lighter by 50 or 100 grams maybe. I did carry forward the Senna, but again I reduced the weight on the front uh, for the motor vlogging setup. I switched to DJ Osmo 1, which required uh, you know, much more smaller uh, mounts for mounting it on the helmet the adapter that we get in between and even the mic adapter is quite small and lightweight so overall this new setup was much more lighter and that is the reason why i still want to continue with this particular helmet for a little longer of course i've got a brand new challenger and unboxing for this one will come soon keeping that aside for some time now i was facing two issues with uh, uh, this particular helmet. Uh, first two issues are uh, common with the visor. The visor is quite old now. It's almost uh, two to three years old and it's developed certain scratches. Plus, I realized that I have a dark visor and in night rides, sometimes I faced uh, issues with clarity while, you know, looking in front. So, and secondly, uh, my cushions, they've gone pretty thin. They're pretty old. I wash the cushions at least uh, once in six months or so or maybe after a very long ride, dusty long ride or a sweaty long ride. I would advise even you guys should, you know, wash the uh, cushions very often. So I've already removed one cushion from inside to show it, show you the difference. So then I've got in touch with uh, the Nikko guys on Instagram and they shared a number with me and I contacted them and within uh, after payment, I think after within uh, three days, the stuff was here. It has come from Bhivandi. And uh, the visor and the two cheek pads and the head pad, they all costed me with shipping around 2000 rupees. Uh, visor, I shifted to the clear one for obvious reasons because I wanted better night vision. Okay. And then we also have the, I'd already opened the box, you know, to cross check that all items that I've ordered have come correctly or not so these are the new paddings okay this one is for the head and these are the two left and right cheek pads and now uh, when you compare the cheek pad with the one of the old ones you know we'll compare this left side ones look at the difference in thickness the cushion inside has got much thinner because of uh, no me washing them multiple times even if you look at the color you can see that this one the old one has gone darkish grayish this is silverish gray brighter because obviously this is brand new so it is really good if you change the cheek pads and you know uh, all the inner cushions of a helmet very often so that uh, you are you stay disinfected Again, these are always dip, dipped in Dettol or something with lukewarm water and then rinsed out. Coming to the visor, uh, this old one has some scratches, but it is not that bad. So, but still, uh, I would prefer to use this one for the majority of time. And it is very easy to remove the visor. You just have this knob. In fact, I made a mistake. I should have ordered a clear knob. Now this is going to be a dark knob on the clear visor. So this is how it comes out. You take the visor off. This is the old visor. You can, I'm not sure if the camera will show it, but it has got uh, very small, small scratches all over. There's one over here also. So in the night, this used to glare a lot more, you know. So the new visor, you just have to Press it inside and put your lock in and turn. Again, this one 
press it inside take your knob and you lock it there you go even the new one comes with uh, pin lock option i haven't purchased any pin lock for my nikko because none of my helmets have uh, pin lock pin locks added to it uh, this one comes free with it but uh, i've never added any pin lock for any uh, you know uh, this thing uh, for defogging or anything nor used any spray i think i did use one spray i don't know where it is now but otherwise i prefer to clean off the uh, visor every 100 km if there is dust and all otherwise overall this helmet has been really nice for me it has got two vents here so good uh, circulation uh, two vents on the front for intake one over here at the bottom there are there is an exit vent from here but this button has broken so i'm not sure if it is on or off uh, there are small exits over here some one over here on left and right each so this is how my nikko now looks i'll be able to use it flawlessly if at all i want uh, you know sun shade during the day it also has a you know visor already so i made a mistake when purchasing uh, i should have not gone for the dark one anyways this is still good i can still use it during the day and all for day rides and whenever i have long ride i'm going to switch to the clear visor and move it so let me know if you have any questions regarding this nikko i leave the contact numbers instagram ids everything in the video description so even if you have a nikko you can get in touch with them for any kind of service thanks for watching see you in a new video very soon like share so cuz i forgot in my they slipped out of my control and you know where they hide mm. you love a little heavy you touch me already and it's working up my nerves you should probably forget me cuz i'm terrified you'll get me when i'm mad